Do you know what intimacy is? What is it? Prayer. Uh, some of you. <laughs> Thank you. Shout out loud intimacy. intimacy. It's like it's only women talking. Because you can now go home and now say, now the hour has come. <laughs> when you should perform, you are doing now the hours come. And then you hold your Bible as if you didn't read it in the morning. First Corinthians 7 and verse 4. Intimacy talks about connectivity during sex. Because you know we have children's church and you should have dropped your child. Especially this kind of service, you know this man will come again. You should have dropped, because I have to talk. You should have dropped your children there. Instead of now putting hand. <laughs> Next time, any marriage service, please keep them there. But this one I have to talk. First Corinthians. 7 verse 4. The wife had no power over her own body. So when it's now time for husband and wife to meet, don't now dress up like you are going for an interview. <laughs> In the night. Hmm? They say, hey. Likewise, the man has no power over his body but the wife. And you keep reading all of this, then people now say, except, you know, when we are fasting. Even the Bible teaches that you should agree first. You can't tell me you are fasting as my wife and I'm not yet aware or in agreement. Then it's now time. Then you are, no, it's not like that. We agree first that if not, that's fraud. Oh. That's the next verse. You know, you don't like truth. That's the next word. <laughs> so many of you are fraudsters. Women and men, you speak in tongues, but you are committing fraud. Please repent from that sin. Thank you. <laughs> By this point now, nobody's writing notes. Some are just praying in tongues. Let this service be over, O oh Lord. We'll still finish, but hear this. Hear this and hear it well. How often must couples be intimate sexually? You are in church now, we should teach you. It's not just how to succeed in business, also how to succeed in family. It must be regular and continuous. <laughs> All of you pretending that you are holier than that. How did your children come? Is it by praying? And it's not only when you want to have children that you now say, okay, come. It's supposed to be enjoyable, not, okay, now we want children. Some women, when they want children, that's the time they'll be pushing, pushing, pushing. After the children are born, then they forget. It's very wrong. Don't claim you are more spiritual. I'm the one preaching. And when I pray for you, you are healed. So hear this one. Your partner, which is your husband, wife, not partner that you are dating or boyfriend or girlfriend. That's not what I'm talking. This one, you close your ears if you are not yet there. They must be satisfied. They must what? Hear this. After you finish making... Uh, as a, let me teach you. As a culture, you ask your wife or your husband, did you enjoy it? Yes. I do it every time. You don't just, are you a rocket science? <laughs> you ask. Let's hear truth. There are people who are married, they are just enjoying, waiting for Jesus to come. <laughs> because they are not enjoying it. I enjoy it. I do what? And I still study my Bible after that. And revelation comes. So there's no exact answer about how many times. Why? Because several things affect it. One may be age. So the first time I got married, no break. Oh. <laughs> but after 14 years, going on 15 years, uh, you also, that time is not once a day. When I first got married. But you, you just married now, you don't even want it. Then how did you get married? I don't know if they teach you these things in counseling, but I better teach it publicly. 
Say, I hear. So age can affect it. Lifestyle can affect it. Education can affect it. Because some people say, no, 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 no. This thing is not correct. Background too can affect it. Some will start crying after they meet with their husband because they think they have offended mommy or daddy at home. It's true. Some feel very dirty, yet it's their spouse. Are you blessed? <laughs> also, health challenges may affect it. So there are several factors that affect it, but make sure it is continuous, make sure it is regular, and make sure it is satisfactory. Because when you are not regular on that platform, you become vulnerable. You tie head like his helmet. <laughs> Even your husband doesn't know. He says, where will I start? Is it from head? Is it from head? <laughs> We should teach this thing. We should do what? <laughs> he doesn't even know where to start. Then you now carry one big Bible like you are the only one, like this, on your chest. I think some of us have wrong foundation because we think it is sin. I say, oh, don't say it in church. How was I born? It's, it's not without, you don't pray to be born now. Something happened. And so that you now finish giving birth, then nothing happens. It's not correct. Age can affect it, but if you are young, please be active. Is that clear? With your wife and with your husband. Be active. Because some of the counseling we do is not needed. It's not what? The man says it's not enough. You say it's enough. So who should we believe? <laughs> 